Now, we're asking people to take pictures of the stars and the constellations. What are your best tips? Well, my best tip is, unfortunately, don't use a camera phone. I mean, we've all got camera phones these days, or lots of us have got camera phones. The problem is, there's so little light coming from Orion, it, you just can't actually use your camera phone. Okay. What you need is a, a sort of good quality digital camera, which has to be mounted on a tripod. Like an SLR. Uh, yeah, that's right. And so mount it on a tripod, because you're going to have to take quite a long exposure, about 30 seconds or something. Right. Well, we're challenging people to have yeah. a go, okay. you know, and then post their, their best photo online. Well, we may end up with some really good ones. Well, I'd love to see some, because what I want to see is, you know, what is the angle of the slope of that belt? Because that tends to, uh, that tends to vary a bit, depending on what part of the world you're looking at it. Right. I mean, at the moment, for us, it's November in the Northern Hemisphere, yeah. but you know, in, the, in a different latitude, then you're going to see something slightly different. So during the rest of the night now, where will Orion progress to? Well, he'll gradually rise, actually, so he'll get higher and higher and higher up above the horizon until he sort of ends up, you know, up there. OK. So plenty of opportunity to see him then? Plenty of opportunity to see him, yeah. Great. <laughs> Get more from the Open University. Check out the links on screen now.